Hello guys, welcome. In this tutorial, we are going to talk about what is secure data retrieval and grounding. What is the meaning of dynamic grounding and what is secure data retrieval? So the first part of the trust layer is safely getting the data. So if you remember in the prompt, you have these placeholders and in the first process, what happens is those placeholders will be replaced by the actual data. For the AI to give more useful and personalized answers, it needs extra information from your CRM data. So in order for AI to give you proper answers, it needs that additional information. And this process of adding extra details to the prompt is called as grounding. So what is grounding? When you are adding additional details to your prompt, basically fetching the data from your CRM, from objects, fields, and etc. let's say related list, when you fetch these kind of data and add it to your prompt, this process is called as grounding. You can ground prompts using CRM data like record fields, flows, apex, data cloud objects, and related lists. So that is what grounding is. And there will be a question related to what is grounding in this exam. Secure data retrieval. Now, what is the meaning of secure data retrieval? Now you've understood what grounding is. Grounding is basically to add additional information to the prompt by fetching data from CRM objects, fields, etc. related list. So that is what grounding is. Now, what is secure data retrieval? Means the process of retrieving the data from CRM is going to be secure and it also going to apply what roles and permissions you have access to, what access you have based on that only that amount of data would be able to retrieve. Secure data retrieval means the AI can only use data that the user running the prompt has permission to see. So only that data which you have the permission to see will be the data it will AI will be able to use. So the retrieval of the data will happen very securely. It will depend on what permissions the user has access to. The data retrieval process follows the same access rules and permissions already set in Salesforce. So this retrieval process that happens of fetching the data will have the same rules and permissions which are set in Salesforce. The data used to ground the prompt is based on the permissions of the user running it. So grounding happens based on the permissions of the user. So if the fields the user doesn't have access to, that information will not be fetched during grounding. Only the information which user has access to will be fetched during this grounding process. It keeps all the usual Salesforce control for user roles and field security when using data from your CRM. So this data retrieval that happens, it happens very securely and it is according to the roles and the security access, field level security that you have on based on your role. And that is how the retrieval of the data will happen. The grounding is dynamic, meaning it happens in real time and depends on what data the user has access to at the moment. So it depends on what kind of access you have during the retrieval. And based on that, only that data would be fetched from your object fields and from your related list, etc. So this is the meaning of secure data retrieval and what is grounding. Grounding is the process of adding additional details to the prompt is called as grounding. You can ground the prompts using CRM data like record fields, flows, apex data cloud objects and related list. That is what is grounding. And this process that happens, this grounding, when you are fetching the data from the object fields and related lists, etc., this grounding will depend on what kind of access you have, what level of security you have, what field level security you have, what kind of permissions you have. It happens according to that. It doesn't happen at a system context. It happens at a user context, it means it is in the context of the user, what permissions user has, what kind of access user has. And that is how this retrieval happens. So this is all about secure data retrieval and grounding. I hope you're enjoying this tutorial. I'm going to see you in the next video. Thank you.